Hello everyone. Today we're going to cover implementing these little slash commands that we have here. So whenever we send a message, we're just going to have the ability to uh, like start with a slash and then Rails will go through and try to interpret what the command is. It's actually really easy to implement this. I think it'll probably take me longer to find the files than it will to implement uh, the features because we already have the message system set up. So uh, what we can do here is just come into the messages controller and in the messages controller, we can come into where we're doing the parse at mentions right now. So let me just bump up the font size a bit. Uh, and then after we parse the at mentions, we can uh, just do a parse slash commands. And we can take this and actually just implement this in our controller. I know we like lean controllers and all that, but uh, sometimes it helps to just implement these features where they are uh, and then refactor later. So we can start by doing a parse slash commands where we grab the uh, message body and check what it starts with, which I guess is just a built in uh, helper command. We can then say, all right, if it starts with a slash, we need to grab the command, which we can do by just doing a uh, message body split. We don't need to grab uh, the zeroth element. We actually want the entire message body split. We can then come down here and create another function, which we'll just call the role manager. And actually we're gonna have quite a few managers here. So we could even just create a manager manager if we really wanted to be meta, but we're gonna sort of hack this together just for the sake of this uh, video. And we can refactor this in a future episode. So then we're gonna pass in the command into our role manager. This first one is kind of my favorite uh, of the slash commands. Basically we create a role manager function and then we check if the uh, first argument of the command is equal to some value. And in this case, we can set it equal to slash roll, or we can just go ahead and refactor this right now so we don't have to do it in five seconds. If we come down here and we create a set commands uh, function, we can then call that as a before action where we set the commands. And then in here, what we can do is we can create a uh, at command for each of the functions we'll be implementing. We have a slash role to set the user roles, a slash random to roll a random number because I needed another example. And then we have a help command that we can call. And that help command is basically just going to take these and it's going to return uh, what their arguments are. Now this is hard coded. You could do this a little bit cleaner. Um, but the point here isn't really how to do a help command. It's more how to do multiple commands. So, okay, we have this. Now what we can do is we can check instead of doing slash roll right here, we can just do uh, at roll and see if it's equal to at roll. Now, if it's equal to at roll, the first thing we want to do is we want to say return unless you are uh, signed in. And we also want to return, oops, return unless the current, oops, current underscore user dot admin. So we want both of these to be true. That way only an admin can set other admins. And then once we have that, we can then say, all right, we need to grab the target user. Target user is gonna be equal to a find by, and we'll use usernames for this. You could also use the user ID if you wanted to, but we're just gonna find them by the username, which we'll get from command dash one. And you could even just take this and say username equals this, and then just pass in the username. We can then grab the user's role, which we can try to do by uh, searching in the user.roles with the target role. So we can say uh, target role equals this, and then this can be the target username. So, oops, I guess that didn't work. Let's try that again, target username. We'll grab this, we'll paste it in here. We'll try to grab the target role by pasting it in here, and then we'll get rid of this extra bracket. Once we have that, we can then append something to the message body. And also put the extra bracket there so that everything stops uh, being upset with me. And what we're gonna append to the target body is just going to be a string. Make sure this is in double quotes. Uh, and then we're gonna just append the username and the role in here, just like this. So we say target user dot username, and the role is going to be the uh, target role you have the command to set the user. Let's now grab the target user, do an update on the role for that user if the target user and the uh, target role exist. 
So we grab this tar or this target user, we grab this role, we pass them in here, and then we try to update the user's role. Now, if we did all of this correctly, I can now type a Rails S to start the server, refresh the page, and then we can try to type slash role for John and make him an admin. Let me just zoom in so you can actually see what I'm typing here. So we set that with that command. If I now refresh, we now have John set as an admin. Now, of course, this is being broadcast to all users. You could do a check for this uh, if you wanted to. In this case, we're just gonna go over the basic commands in this one and we'll do user permissions for these commands and who can see them in a future. In this case, everyone can see the command. We can cover doing it for, for specific users in a future episode, just accidentally recorded something. Uh, the next thing we can do is we can come in here and after we do a role manager, maybe we want to do the random manager just to see what it's like. If you want to do like some logic behind the scenes, if you have one of these uh, slash commands running, so we'll do a random manager. We can come in here and the first thing we can do is say, all right, is your command equal to random? If your command's equal to random, we're going to grab the lower bound by grabbing the first argument. We're going to grab the upper bound by grabbing the second argument. And then we're going to grab the random number by doing the range between the lower and the upper bound. Once that's done, we can then set the at message dot body to be equal to at message dot body and say you rolled between the lower and upper bound and you got this random number. I'll hit control S now to save this, come over here and refresh and type slash uh, random one and 10. You can see I rolled between one and 10 and I got one. Let's try it again just to make sure it's working. Let's do one and 10. This time we got two. Uh, let's try it one last time and see if we get, okay, there we go, we got nine. Let's also do slash random one and I don't know, 50,000 and we got 12,279. Okay, so that is two of our commands done now. The last one I wanna do is the help manager. So we can do that real quick. We'll just paste in the help manager here, oops. And we can come up to our slash commands and do the help manager with the command. We can come in here to the help manager and we can check if the command is equal to help, same way we did with all the other ones. If it is, we need to create a string and we'll call it result and we'll set it equal to a new line just so that we can start off with slash help and then a new line. And then on each of the new lines, we want to do a set command. So we'll iterate through each of these command options that we have down here. And for each of these, we'll grab the result and we'll say the result should plus equal a string with a new line again, because each one of these needs a new line at the start and the end, so it looks a bit better. Then we grab the zeroth argument from this command, which is this right here, which is this right here. So we grab the slash command that it is. And then we grab the first argument, which is the parameters that that uh, command takes. Once we have all of that, we can then come down here to the bottom of uh, our method and we can say at message dot body plus equals result. If we do that, we should be able to come over here, refresh the page, type slash help. And if I close out of this web dev tools, you can see it says slash help. To use slash role, we need to use slash role username and role. To use slash random, it's lower and upper bound. And then to use help, it's help slash command. But yeah, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Hopefully this was helpful and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.